Hello, thank you for joining my presentation. I would like to present my works based on the title of the influence of this comfort glare on shaping device and its implication for the daily space in the tropical region. And the authors are Gidwood Chleitai Masagi Chiyose, Rumiko Sasaki, Yamaguchi Tomoyuki from Tokyo Metropolitan University, and Su Sheng Xian, and Steve. Kalina Jusuf from Singapore Institute of Technology. I will start with a short introduction. Nowadays, the discomfort glass issue in the interior space become crucial since the use of glassing facade in the building is growing. And to evaluate the discomfort glass, the daylight glass probability or the DGP, is this a widely used index to apply? And currently, the DGP of 0 0.35 to 0 0.4. 0 0.4, it was suggested to achieve visual comfort. However, in the tropical context study in Indonesia and in Malaysia, uh, both of these studies show that the occupants, they prefer the lower level of the DGP. So this study aims to clarify and to determine the recommended value of the DGP based on the field study and based on the local preference in Thailand and in Singapore building. And because the source of this zone force is mainly come from the glass window elements, so the window to wall ratio, the visible light transmit band or the VLT with the shading device usage it was studied alongside the DGP to find out their potential to achieve visual comfort. And for the research method part, this study depends on the field investigation in the occupied space. Five office buildings in Thailand were selected, and the another, another three office buildings in Singapore were selected as well. Uh, to collect the data of the DGP index, it was studied based on the high dynamic range photo from the camera setting inside the occupied space. And meanwhile, for the occupant's comfort evolution, it will investigate by the questionnaire survey in terms of their satisfaction and the glass sensation board. And for the important feature of the glass facade, window to wall ratio, the VLT, and the shading device occlusion very well, it was studied alongside the DGP and it will present based on the daylight aperture or the DA for both of the glassing area and the shading area. Okay, let's move to the result and discussion part. When we plot the DGP value together with the glass sensation board from the questionnaire survey, it showed that most of the occupants, they start to feel discomfort at the DGP of 0 0.26. You can see from the red line in the middle of this figure, and to determine the threshold value of the DGP, the discomfort sample will focus and it will analyze using the study call analysis. Uh, for study call method one, it will be presented on the cumulative presented in figure four. And for the method two, it will present based on the predict percentage of discomfort or the PPD in figure five. And the finding threshold value, it can be marked as the recommended range in the blue box here below the slide. It can be suggested that uh, DGP of 0 0.23 to 0 0.24 can be marked as the border of perceptible and disturbing. And this result is very similar to the finding in Indonesia in, and in Malaysia. So it can be concluded that Thailand and Singapore occupants, they may prefer the lower level of the DGP, which is lower than the current recommendation value. And next, uh, to discuss on the glass facade features, the sample of a window to wall ratio and the VLT with the shading of cushion level it was selected based on the DGP below 0 0.24, which is the finding from this study 
for the comfort condition. And it will post in it will post in the cumulative percentage for the focus on 75% of acceptable base. And the prediction model for VLT for window to wall ratio and for the JDDY occlusion level, it can be seen and it can be uh, uh, proposed based on the control guard in figure seven in this slide. Uh, when the discussion on the glass facade and distant fault glare are taken, the shading device installation or the glass material selection, it can be referred to this uh, prediction model. And it can be seen that uh, the shading device usage is highly required to avoid discomfort glare. Okay, let's move to the final part, the conclusion. The recommended range of the discomfort glare or the DTP it can be suggested from this study. And it is lower than the current recommendation based on the local occupant response. And for the discomfort glare prevention, the discussion on window to wall ratio, VLT, or shading UI, it can be considered based on the analysis part in this study. And for the practical terms, the finding from this study can be act as an initial step to improve comfort condition, comfort index. And the building facade selection guideline for Southeast Asia country which is now encourage the building designer to access their line without any discomfort guide control criteria. Thank you so much.